Hi, this is Sean Overton with OneStepRemove.com. In this video, I'm going to show you how to export your price histories from NinjaTrader into Excel on the assumption that you're going to want to do some kind of analysis in Excel. So the way we're going to start is we're going to open NinjaTrader, click on Tools, and then you're going to click on the Historical Data Manager. When that pops up, the first thing you'll do is click on the Export tab. And then here on the left, you need to select what it is that you're exporting. So I'm going to select the euro dollar and make sure that that plus sign changes to a minus. And then there's only three types of price data. Almost everybody has last, but you may have bid ask. You do have to select what data it is that you want to export. And then from there, you select the data type. And you'll notice that when I select minute, now NinjaTrader is giving me the option to export. Here on the right side, I'm going to change the data that I want to export, i.e. the dates. And when I've selected all that, I push export. A window pops up and it's asking me where I want to save it. So I'm going to choose somewhere obvious like the desktop. And the file type is a TXT, which you might think is not correct for an Excel file, but it's really easy to fix. And I'll show you that in a second. Go ahead and save it. And when everything goes through OK, you'll get this pop-up window that the historical data exported successfully. Now we're going to jump to Excel and we're going to open the file that we just exported. So for me that means I'm going to the desktop and I'm going to select this euro dollar file which is what uh, euro dollar last.txt. Open it up and the text import wizard pops up in Excel. You need to select delimited which is how the files are where that's showing how everything is separated and when you push next over here in the top left you'll need to change tab to semicolon and you'll notice when I do that that the, these vertical black lines appear. And that's Excel communicating to me that it's going to draw columns in this manner. Push Next, and unfortunately, it, we would like to format this data, but it's not in a way that Excel recognizes by default, so we're just kind of stuck with that. Go ahead and push Finish, and we're able to start doing our analysis in Excel. If you have any questions on this or working with NinjaTrader or Excel, you can find me at www.onestepremove.com. My name is Sean Overton. Thank you for listening.